Hello, welcome to Practical DIY. Today is the first episode in a new series which I'll be starting today. Uh, first project uh, will be a mini moto. Now, this is the mini moto I'll be working on. Uh, it's a new acquisition and we'll be looking at getting a full restoration done on this. Now let's have a quick look at it. This first one is going to be about looking at what needs doing to the bike, uh, what needs replacing, so it's basically a quick look around and have a look, see what we need to do. So the first thing is quite obvious, look at the front forks, they pretty much need replacing. Front wheel's bent right back, touching the exhaust. So, front end needs looking at and replacing. So have a look, brakes. Oh, I've still got some meat on there. Should be able to be okay with that. Uh, definitely needs a fairing kit. That's completely missing. What else have we got? Crack in the fuel tank, need that replace fuel replace the fuel tank. What else have we got? Look inside, down by the engine, carburetor, fuel line. Oh, looks okay, fuel filter should be okay. Probably replace that at some point. Uh, yeah, exhaust looks okay. What we could do with a clean up and respray. A little full respray on the whole bike, anyway, so that's going to be clean, stripped right down and reassembled. Oh, rear chain sprocket. Now oh, that's all bent up. Oh, so need a new rear sprocket. What's the chain looking like? Chain's not too bad. Could do with a good clean. Looking at it, uh, due to the seat pattern, we've got four holes, one, two, three, four, and looking at the shape of the fuel tank, I'd say we have a Chinese import Mark II. Uh, looks like somebody's already replaced the pull start, it's a nice new unit. electrics so we've got a kill switch installed it comes here down into the magneto and looking like it we might have a 49 cc I tell him by having there's a lucky little shelf here. I don't know if that's true or not. Hopefully, somebody can give me feedback on that. Well, generally, it doesn't look too bad. It's fairly clean. Needs a lot of work doing to it, but we'll get there and we'll look at what we can do in future. So there we go. That's my little project for the next upcoming weeks. Hopefully we can transform that into something looking a bit newer and a bit more complete. Let's have another quick look at the bike. I just noticed something about the rear calipers. Now whether this is right or not I'm not sure. It looks like an awful lot of restricted movement and it could look like it could even bend the rear disc. So let's have a quick look at that. Right then, it looks like somebody's been welded some extra bits here onto the frame. I don't know whether that is something they've done to help improve it, but to me it looks like it's going to hinder it because the offset is going to pull on this lever off to one side. No overuse, it's going to fray through the cable on this edge and 
probably make a Beric failure. So we'll have, I think that there should be a adjuster here and then the cable running directly to over here. So we'll have a look at that when we get to it. Also, when we're looking at the brakes, there doesn't seem to be an awful lot of movement. So when I actuate the brake, the slider's not actually moving. Uh, I think it's pulling right the way up against this over here. Against this nut. I don't think that's supposed to be there. I think it's supposed to be a bit clearer. But we'll have a look at the instructions and see what it exploded view, see if it, how it's supposed to look properly. Right then, so quick last look at the bike before we start disassembly. Right then, without any further ado, we'll make a start and start disassembling the bike and see what other nasties we find. 